once every day. He's a psycho. And I don't, with all due respect, I'm a big fan of stranglehold. So what? So how? What, what's? where's the line of demarcation between well, he's becoming outrageous. hunting too much his, and not hunting enough? In well, terms of becoming, crossing over that line into into sociopath. Well, I'm just joking about know, that because I'm a hunter. I mean, yeah. it really depends entirely upon what he's doing with the meat. And mm -hmm. I know he gives it to hunters for the hungry. I know he gives it to neighbors and and friends. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And he has he actually has uh, um, he has an obligation to be the steward of his land because he has a lot of exotics and stuff. On it. I'm just totally joking around. Oh no, I know. I know. But. When you um, when like you listen to his conversation with Piers Morgan, which Piers Morgan takes that flippant left wing knee jerk reactionary, you know, we have to ban arrogant. guns. Yeah, he's a cunt. Yeah. And when he's <laughs> when he's on with Ted, Ted just knew everything about the actual facts. When you start running around with statistics of gun violence, he's mm -hmm. like, do you know how many of those people were bad guys that were shot by cops? Yeah. Do you know how many of those people were people that were shot when they were breaking into people's homes? Do you know how many of those people were people that were killed in self-defense? Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. It's not. And do you know how many of those people, when you say, talk about gun violence, how many of those people were suicide? Uh, yeah. There's a lot. Keep in mind, that's recent. That, suicide. Well, no. So here's what happened. So when I started getting really deep into the advocacy component of it, Everyone was screaming, 30,000 people a day die from gun violence, 30,000 people a day. That's what they were running with, right? Mm. And they were scaring all the suburban house moms. Oh, my gosh, we got to do something about gun control. We got to do something about guns. Um, so I, I, I jumped into the pool, and I, I, I just like something doesn't seem right about that figure, right? And I'm not saying I'm what the one who put this out What did you think was wrong there. about it? It seemed inflated. It seemed inflated. I don't know what it was. It's on a subconscious level, and, or maybe, people. or maybe it was me looking for a confirmation bias, right? Mm -hmm. Because right. I, I felt the way I did about firearms. I'll be honest and say that. Right. And so what I did is I kind of researched a little more, and I realized, holy shit, over sixty-five percent of that thirty thousand is suicides. Sixty-five percent. Is that real? Yeah. Jesus Christ. So what is that? Like eighteen thousand people yeah. a day shoot themselves. Man, something like, crazy like that. But what do we say at the top of the show? Man, people are miserable, man. That's a fucking crazy number, though, man. That's a, a Kevin Hart concert. Yeah, pretty much. All together. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Blam. Well, that's really what it is. 18,000 people. That, that's fucking incredible. So then, it, but then it begs the question that you brought up before the mental health aspect. Yeah. How much, how much, how many lives would we actually save if we took the same energy we applied to just making guns evil and trying to ban guns and to take that energy and put it towards understanding what it is, why as a society we have a society that is so eager to really not want to be here anymore. Mm.